in the Ohio Legislature. I'm pleased to yield now to the distinguished general lady from Ohio, Representative Joyce Beatty. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me also join my colleagues in thanking Mr. Jeffries and Mr. Horsford for leading the Congressional Black Caucus's important discussion about rising burdens of student loans on our families and on our economy. Higher education is a major part of the American dream. I know as a college graduate and I know as a senior administrator at a university. Access to higher education must continue to be an option for the American dream to continue to be a reality. The increasing financial burden higher education is placing on students, families, and the economy is unsustainable and threatens our country's economic progress. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, almost 13 percent of student loan borrowers, borrowers of all ages owe more than $50,000, and nearly 4 percent owe more than $100,000. These debts are often beyond the student's ability to repay, which is demonstrated by the fact that delinquency and fault rates are soaring. This week, the Smarter Solutions for Students Act, H.R. 1911, will come to the floor. Unfortunately, it is partisan legislation and is not a sufficient solution to address our nation's student loan crises. And it's certainly worth repeating, as you have heard and you will repeatedly hear. In fact, it makes students worse off than if nothing is done to stop the increasing variable interest rates. This bill actually would increase the cost of students' loans for borrowers, discourage the use of federal loans, and exacerbate the country's troubling student debt problem. Under this bill, interest rates for student loans will balloon over the next 10 years, costing students and their parents almost $4 billion in additional loan interest charges. As a former college administrator with numerous colleges in my district, I believe pursuing higher education is one of the best personal and professional investments one can make in your future. With the tens of thousands of students within my district, the impact of the student loan crises is monumental for my community. That is why I have co-sponsored several pieces of legislation that will work to decrease the fiscal strain higher education can place on students. I've co-sponsored the Student Loan Fairness Act, sponsored by Representative Bass, which is legislation designed to lend a helping hand to those struggling under massive amounts of students' loans. This legislation actually caps interest rates for federal loans and improves and expands public service loans forgiveness and creates a 1010 loan replay repayment plan. We must, we must keep our education loan rate stable, responsible, and affordable. We must find a solution that will allow college students to benefit from the 3.4 percent interest rates on subsidized Stanford loans. We must advance legislation that includes student loan reform in a way that provides realistic opportunities for our students to secure good jobs and pay off their student loans without falling into financial crises. I will continue to advocate for better ways to lessen the financial burden of higher education for all students in this country. Our nation's students and families deserve an affordable education. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank the distinguished uh, gentlelady from Ohio for her great leadership uh, on this issue.